We have seen since 2015 a concerted decimation, as they say, of terrorist activities in the Northeast. And then we've seen a spike in kidnaps. On my own database, I'm still working to see a trend, but I seem to be joining the dots in my head and wanting to believe that it's not unlikely these terrorists are raising funds via kidnaps. It's one way to go because theoretically the erudites will tell you when you bring thesis and antithesis, and antithesis two forces, you create a third one, synthesis. So two forces have met, one is decimated, it's going to look for a third way out. I thought we saw a similar scenario in Cameroon. Mm. Beautiful. That's what we're saying. Now, kidnap is a national malaise, short of calling it a national security threat. It's a national malaise. And combating kidnap, we're in dire straits now. We, we don't have time to waste. We've gotten to that stage where push has gone beyond show. What is the critical path, the critical path to stabilize before we now recover. That critical path is informed by certain dynamics that our law enforcement agencies are not paying attention to, that our judicial system is not paying attention to. Right now, we need to make a very decisive statement.